Hello everybody and very long time no see but as you can see the Crown Vic is back. I just got it back yesterday. I've already put new wheel covers on it and then I put a new headlight in in the passenger side and I plan on getting one for the driver's side eventually because there is quite the contrast between the two. So I've got it all cleaned up already. Inside it was uh, still clean from where it was stored but I had absolutely no trouble getting this car going. I actually had a battery pack and I didn't disconnect the battery. I know it's stupid me. I just didn't bother going back to disconnect it. Anyway, I hooked up the battery pack to the car. It fired over no problem. And then I looked at the battery pack and it didn't use any of the battery pack juice. So somehow the battery in this survived the six months of winter storage and had absolutely no issue nothing's leaking on the car nothing to fix on the car it's got new tires going on this week and then i'm probably going to get the brake fluid and power steering fluid flushed as well i've already got it all waxed all that stuff so very happy to be back in this car driving a corolla for six months just was not cutting it so uh gas prices are cheaper they're down to 67 cents a liter so i can afford to drive it at least without even thinking about it and let me know, what look do you guys like? Do you like the center caps or do you like the wheel covers the most? Right now, just because I've driven with center caps for six years, I kind of like the look of the wheel covers for a while, especially with the darker color of the Crown Vic. It kind of contrasts it. Gives it a bit of a more classy look to it, I guess, instead of the downright cop car look for a change. So anyway, as you guys can see, looks exactly the same as the day that I put it in storage. Nothing's changed. The little bit of paint flake that there is that uh, just needs to get fixed. None of that rust has moved at all. Undercarriage is fine. Like I said, absolutely no leaks or anything. So definitely going to store it again next year. Well worth it. And if anybody has a car that they do enjoy and want to keep for a while, I definitely suggest doing the same. Like I said, it didn't really cost a whole lot. I mean, yeah, I did have to get the second car, which was the Corolla, for $2,450. But, I mean, the amount of gas that I saved from the Corolla, while uh, gas is more expensive, pretty much made up for a lot of that expense. So, really... At the end of the day, I'm kind of coming out ahead, and that way, whenever this car is in getting serviced, I can drive the Corolla, or vice versa. I mean, now that I have, the, like I said, the money and stuff saved up and kind of recouped already, having both the cars isn't really a financial hit anymore because they're not really costing anything to drive. The Corolla hasn't really had any issues either. I mean, it's had a couple small ones here and there. I mean, it's got 230 almost 8,000 on the clock, whereas this is 131,000 still. So I can't really complain. The cars aren't really costing me anything to drive besides gas and insurance, and even that's pretty cheap right now. So, I mean, yeah, so very glad to be back in this car. Hope you guys are happy to see me back in this car because I will hopefully be able to do a couple more videos. Don't really know what to talk about because I kind of have the look I want on the car right now, so I might... Uh, might change up a couple more things. Like I said, I got the new tires going on, which I'm very excited for because as you can see, these uh, crappy Eagle RSAs are getting kind of low and they're also dry weathering quite a bit on the insides. It's hard to see on the camera probably. And then also around the scenes are starting to dry weather. So um, I left out and got these hubcaps off Kijiji for $80 plus shipping because the new one of these hubcaps is $100 from uh, the dealership flat so all four would have cost me four hundred dollars if i wanted to go that route which i wasn't going to i was only going to get them if i could find them used so yeah very happy to be back i'm just kind of out cruising around hope everybody's enjoying quarantine the best they can or i should just say social distancing because that's mostly what it is in most states and provinces right now most people aren't actually physically locked into their home but uh that varies depending on where you live so hope everybody's staying safe good to see you all again and have a good one